All right, for our next word problem, we have an investment portfolio. So a mutual fund has $60,000 to invest in stock with a higher return of 7% or bonds which return a 4%. The managers would like 6% in annual returns. How much should be invested and how much should be in bonds? Well, right there, two questions gives us two variables. So let's let S be the amount invested in stock and B be the amount invested in bonds. Now two variables we need two equations. Now the two equations are, well one's easy to find the other one's relatively tough. The easier one is that the stocks and bonds have to add up to 60,000. So S plus B equals 60,000. Now, we need to make a statement about the percentages. That is, how much money are these actually going to earn? Well, the amount of money that our stock is going to earn, well, if we have S, uh, number of stock, S times 0.07. 0.07s plus 0.04b, that's going to be the total return on our investment. Now the stock managers, or the, the um, mutual fund managers want 6% annual returns. Well 6% of 60,000, 0 0.06 times 60,000. Okay, so it's really your choice as to which variable you want to solve for. Uh, let's go for S in this case. S is equal to 60,000 minus B. I'm going to take this little piece. It'll be useful later. We're going to drop it into there. So we have 0 0.07 times 60,000 minus B plus 0 0.04 B equals, and 0 0.06 of 60,000 is 3,600. So the investors are expecting a return of $3,600. So, we multiply this out. 0 0.07 times 60,000 is 4,200. Minus 0 0.07B plus 0.04B is equal to 3,600. So now we subtract 4,200 over. Combine like terms, negative 0 0.07 and 0 0.04 gives us negative 0.03b equals, let's see, that's negative 600 divided by negative 0.03. And we get that we should invest $20,000 in bonds. Now, it's a very, fairly simple relationship. If we have $60,000 to invest and $20,000 are in bonds, then the other $40,000 are in stock. So $40,000 in stock. 20,000 in bonds, and we will get the appropriate 6% annual return.